Hello this is Emma from Cruise Addicted and this video is to show you how beautiful the Sail Inn is to Tromso in Norway. We took this voyage to the land of the midnight sun in July 2023 and we were really blessed with some of the best weather we could have posit positively wished for. Um, so this is our arrival into Tromso. It was spectacular. Mill pond conditions, blue skies, absolutely breathtaking. The weather in Norway can be a little unpredictable in the summer months. Um, you can never know whether it's going to be misty or foggy or whether it's going to be hot and sunny. We had packed for more cold and misty days to be fair, but we were blessed for 14 days with this beautiful sunny skies, blue skies and uh, calm conditions. And as you can see, the sail into Tromso was virtually mill pond conditions, really beautiful. You can just see the church there over the other side of the bridge. And that's the ski jump. So because we're coming back to Tromso uh, on our Northern Lights cruise next March, um, we decided to venture further afield and we booked a tour to Grotfjord um, from Tromso. So we actually boarded an eight-seater minibus and we were with a company called Northern Light Tours for an Arctic drive and picnic. We booked the tour through Viator, which you can find the link on our website, www.cruiseaddicted.com. So Grotfjord is 20 miles away from Tromso, so it didn't take that long to get there by minibus. And we had a great guide and he took us foraging to start with for cloudberries, this little orange fruit that grows singularly in the grass. So you have to be careful where you walk and um, they taste delicious. So one of our stops was to this beautiful beach as you can see and as we got out the minibus we could see the reindeer trying to find some shade in uh, one of the locals gardens. Um, they just wander around here quite freely, trot down the main road so it's, it's quite a sight to see. Um, beautiful day, people are swimming, the uh, water temperatures weren't that bad actually. So there you can see a little red tent, uh, wild camping is absolutely fine in Norway. You can pitch tent for a couple of nights wherever you fancy as long as it's not someone's private garden. So this is where we've stopped for lunch on, on this beautiful golden sand beach within the fjord of Grotfjord. Um, our guide set up our little chairs and on each chair there is a sandwich uh, like a, a Norwegian sandwich with hummus and blackberry jam and we just literally sat on the beach. It was gloriously warm and sunny. We all had a paddle, um, a hot coffee, and uh, had some fun taking some photographs. But look at the view. It was the most beautiful place to stop for a picnic. And there we have some more wild reindeer just wandering around, um, having something to eat. So if you're a keen photographer, I can highly recommend this tour. The scenery, the colors, the mill pond reflections, it had it all, it was just absolutely brilliant. I'm a photographer and I couldn't stop taking photographs. I have hundreds of photographs from this day. It was stunning. We were looking for trolls. There's trolls everywhere in Norway. You have to look into the stone, into the cliffs, and you'll find a troll. So this is one of the photographs I took on the panorama setting on my iPhone. This was clearly one of the highlights of our 14 night cruise on the Island Princess. We got back to where the beach area was and the four reindeers had moved over to the sand. They were just sat there, everyone around them's on the beach building sand castles and swimming and these four boys are just sat enjoying the summer weather. Um, absolutely magical. 
I'd just like to stress we were with our guide the entire time and at a safe distance from the animals. We didn't get close to them, we didn't touch them or go too near to them. Um, zoom lenses are very good so we were actually in, in safe territory. Back on board and we're sailing north to North Cape. We're in the land of the Midnight Sun Territory. We'd just gone beyond the main summer months. This is at the end of July. So sunset was about quarter to midnight and sunrise was about half past midnight. But this is midnight. We have sunset on one side of the ship with the orange colors and sunrise on the other side of the ship with the pink colors. Absolutely magical. We really enjoyed this cruise. So this has been Emma from Cruise Addicted sailing to the land of the midnight sun. Thank you for joining me. We'd be ever so grateful if you would like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, bye for now.